I am on on uh, Kai's YouTube. Yeah. Did I did I do good? Did you I plug did all very day? Good. Yay! Can I have Yay. my pets? You have all the yeah. pets. Yay! Pat pet. A pet with like really Chat dusty pet grub the on. Bean. <laughs> Goodness gracious! <clears throat> the grub on is hella dusty. All right. Anyway. <clears throat> We'll be doing something oh, different this session. Leave. Oh no. We'll I'll be committing be mass murder. I'll be standing for the majority of the session. Wow. Why? Extra massage. Incredible. Theater. Alright. Incredible. So, as you guys leave the forest, <laughs> as you guys leave the town, more of, we gotta get the fuck out of here because uh, two chaos gremlins decided, hmm, yes, break the expo that was next door. I'll be haunting you via theater ghost. That's what Honeybee Alley says. Yep, That's perfectly fine. Um, by being haunted by several ghosts, you can just add to the number. Anyway. You guys finally break out of the forest, which is kind of dense oak and pine to a very lush flatland. You can tell it's lush because the amount of shrubbery everywhere. Now I have to grab my dice. <sighs> okay. Because I am going to roll for random encounters. And my random encounters are fun. fun. We want oh. a shrubbery. I want yeah. a shrubbery. That's actually part of uh, yes. what's on the encounter table. Monty I have we are the knights who are saying nip. I have a question. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am Can Flora, Method? not Fauna. Method I has a new quirk. Trees. What am I? Uh, yes, Method does have a new quirk. Can I try to gnaw on the cart? I like the edge of the cart. I am, I am yes. shrubbery, not grass. No, what no. am I? Out of my ass. No. <laughs> no one's gonna guess this, and I'm gonna be really ambush? sad. Ambush? Yes, ambush. Um, I ambush. We're all for initiative. We don't have the bush. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop there. Anyway, so you actually, you guys actually come across a farmer who is broken down. You see that he is currently trying his best to repair a wagon wheel. Hmm. Peasant. Uh. At if we're not going to stop as we go past, I'll cast Mending on his wheel. I believe Mending is a touch spell? Oh, yeah, let right. me tell well, you what. Stop. Drive by. Drive by. <laughs> it's, a, it's a drive, drive by. by. I'm going to shoot going drive by Mending. Okay, on hold on. What is everyone else? Because I hear that uh, Drexel doesn't want to stop. Uh, no, no, I was saying to stop. I was saying okay, to you're going to stop. Uh, uh, Eric I'm going to stab Drixel if he doesn't stop. Wait, okay. no, not Drixel. Trax. Alright. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm going to try to run. Hold on, Method, what do you want to do? The, 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 wagon, the broken wagon wheel looks tasty. I will not allow her to eat the wagon wheel. It looks wheel. like a giant succulent donut. <laughs> Most certainly yes. does Do not. Trex, what are you stopping or are you not? I'm about to rope. I'm gonna tie method to me. Oh. I'm made of stone. Well, you've already well. said what you want to do. Small uh, I guess the group. I guess the group wants to stop. Okay, so I'll guys. stop. Yes, I stay in the cart though. That's fine. Uh, you guys Small child, down. why are you eating and that? You, the farmer looks up and he goes. Ah, more adventurers. Lovely. He looks to be a younger man with black hair, black, quote unquote, black eyes. Not actual, like, bruises, but his eyes look dark. You should be black. thankful, peasant, for you are in, you are in the presence of the Ice Prince. Now the I shouldn't have stopped. bowing is acceptable, <laughs> and we will fix it. You shouldn't have stopped. <laughs> uh, Eric just, Eric I just will... out of the car and starts to attempt to lift the cart. I will... I will quietly try to get around to the other side while uh, Big and White here keeps the 
farmer's attention because while I like hel helping people, I don't want anybody to know I like helping people. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'll be keeping okay, you guys' attention right. just basically boasting about being Chad. You see the farmer pull out a, a notepad and goes, so am I going to have to pay for you to do this or can I? Nah, it's fine. All right. well, we out. do not need the money of a peasant. Though I'm we do require peasant. your, though I mean, your admiration is welcome. Well, let's I'm see. Just going let's to... see. Drixel. <laughs> yes, your father is actually due for an inspection soon. His ice Wait, cream what? has been entirely too <laughs> unicy as of late. <gasps> is this uh, who I think it is? Oh, I hope it is. Uh, can Method try to eat? The Wait, what? Water? <laughs> he, he Drix through his clipboard. Drix was just like he was busy boasting, and then this person's like, "Ah, yes, you." And it's like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> oh, let's see, Eris. The uh, ah, I see you've gotten out of the navy. Good. I was about to actually do a check on the ships, shipping supplies, and the shipping lanes. Um, I can. Eric just pulls out like a stolen uh, cigar oh, from his ship. Oh, you're by method now. Uh, yes. Uh, please kindly do not nom my wheels. But I think hot. she's trying to eat the axle. But it's tasty. Here, he actually slips you like a honey bun. <gasps> Method's gonna eat the honey bun. It's delicious. No, no, eat the paper that the honey bun is in, but not the honey he didn't, bun. Uh, he didn't give any paper with it. He just oh, handed dang. her a hand. He just pulled a honey bun out of his pocket and gave it to you. Pocket, you mean ass? Uh, and finally he goes one. over to Trax and goes, Ah, oh, heading home? Mind if I do a wagon inspection? Inspection? Uh, Did we need an inspection? I'm a bit um, sick. I'm, I'm afraid we shouldn't really come into contact with it. Oh, Wait, trust me, I have divine procedure? protection. My mother... Gives it to me. Uh, Lovely. Yes, so I'm sure it'll all be up to, <laughs> up to far. He, like, leans over, looking at the wheels, kicking them slightly, and he checks the axle. He pops back up, goes, all right, you're fine. Walks over, <laughs> sees Junko. No, 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 no. I'm done. Oh, you're it's done. already been done. Yeah, so no, I have snickily. Junko. Well, quickly, like, flips through... Yeah, that's, uh... Daphne, don't worry about that. Flips through a couple of his pages. You're new. I'm uh, scared of this man. I'm sorry, how the fuck do Drix you know is just standing there very confused. Ah, I should introduce myself. I am Osharu, demigod of... Well, laws, regulations, keeping everything up to code, and, well... Is that what my mom used to say? Ah, uh, order. Oh, you. I am I her don't... errand boy right now. But he goes over to I don't to think Junko. you're going to get along. He uh, I, goes over to Junko. I will, I will give a bow to him, but if every time he steps a little bit closer, I will step. I will kind of shuffle backwards. No, no, no. I didn't make note of you. No, no, no. I don't think you do. Let me guess. guess. Trickery domain? Her name is Junko. Ah, Junko. Thank you, small method child. He hands Her, name is, she, Her name is Funko Pop. Her name is Funko Pop. She another... is handed uh, another honey bun. No, I'm the Where honey. are you getting these? <laughs> Easy. The baker next uh, tried to bribe me and I have uh, given him fines and well, you know, food is food. Now. Alright, so Junko, looks like you've got the Gemini twins. That's very naughty, boys. Uh, I don't have them, they more have me. Uh, very, the other way around, let me make a bold. note of that. They're very bold. I mean, hmm. bright. They they're broke his bright. kneecap. Eric looks right. over Don't tell me they've got those hammers again. Eric looks at Drix and he just smirks. <laughs> no, no, okay, so Ali, Junko was actually made by the gods because they were like, he who slapped life in the statue, what it do? Um, Junko. 
and he goes, oh, well, 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 all right, that's been made. Um, Bitch slaps a statue come to life. Ah, yes, everything seems to be in order. Um, you guys have a name for your group. Try to keep an no. eye on all the adventures. God, no. We just... I just met these assholes like a day ago. And the only one I... I don't think who... And the only one I like so far is the little one. I have I'm just hurt. met them yesterday, so I don't uh, believe so. I'll come back to you guys later. <sighs> I have to go find Please my don't. uncle. Have you guys seen a Wait. tall... A very, very tall man. Uh, red skin, white hair, white beard, about six sets of wings. Krampus? Have I seen this man? <laughs> roll for it. That's what I thought. Anything special or is it just man. a roll 20? It's, uh, it's just a roll. Uh, actually, no, I mean, like, um... History? Anything? Nothing? <laughs> it wouldn't be history because you weren't really bored. Um, throw me a perception check. Okay. So. Everyone can do it if they want. Uh, and and I'm, more I'm gonna detail, do it. He has horns. Uh -huh. Sometimes wears reds and oranges and blues. Goes oh, by that's the a name wonderful of number. Magnus. So it's Absolutely not. <laughs> not with that roll, I have it. No, you rolled a one. I ain't say shit. Okay, My so no, no, no. is like plus three, I think. Uh, is the, yeah, the is it the standard D twenty or like investigation included? Uh, That's perception. Perception. Yeah. perception. Okay. Cool. Hold on. Please don't ask me to do anything wisdom related. Look, yeah, I only have, really have the best wisdom in the party, coming. and I still rolled a nat one. So fourteen. Hmm. I could roll a negative one. I I rolled a a it's I rolled not the a first four. time that's happened. I rolled a one as well. How's a fourteen? I, I think that's my grandpa. All right, method. You're not sure that this guy is even real. Sure, he <laughs> swears he could be a demigod, but he could be another. Okay, one what's the role for? What's the role for? I guess I'm popping in. Perception. Uh, Perception. But you don't exactly see like normal humans. That is one of the quirks that you have. However, you do see an elderly man up the road that, uh, his head is literally above the hill where hit the rest of his body should be. Continuing on, like he's trying to sneak off. Method um, to just... tracks. You Method don't just see, um, you don't see the man. However, you do see a random grandpa type man walking up the road. Do I recognize him? No, Brandon? You, you, you've never seen this man in your life. This is the area around, like, you would have known this area. You would have known the people when you were little, growing up. That man was a fucking stranger. Grandpa? Just gonna point hmm. to the floating hat. To just point, like... We'll do the, uh, classic walk by and nod. Not, not gonna, just pointing to the floating hat. It, it's not a hat, it's a head. Head, head floating moving, head. like away from you. What? What? He he like leans over to Method. Where? Are you, what are you pointing at? There's a head in the air. Hold on, I actually I have to get like a prop real quick. The Pringles can. Pringles. All right. can. He sets his stuff back. Thank you Hello, for, yes, for it is me. My... The Pringles can. Oh, no. The Pringles can I'm not using right now. Uh, he that, that wasn't his... a Pringles can. That was my hand. Uh, honey Bee Alley, thank you for the follow. Uh, he closes his his stuff up, puts it in his cart, and goes, thank you for helping me out. I have to go catch my uncle now. As you see, he actually climbs into the wagon, and Junko... There's no horses. I have to dealt honest, with so much god fuckery, I'm just like, sure, why not? There are no horses. There is nothing to pull this thing. But what you do see is that it moves <laughs> by smoke. Or not really smoke. It looks like it comes and pushes it along. 
Like it's slightly seems, hovering over the ground. Seems legit. <laughs> Everyone's got a gimmick these days. <laughs> <laughs> to be but fair, we didn't like get a to park our okay. It's only hovering like two inches off the ground. Method is just gonna wave to the not horse, not their horses, and be like, "Bye, pony. Bye, horsey." There are, mm -hmm. there, there's nothing to say. That yeah. Right. So, you guys have just met the demigod Osharu. No. I thought Shut we you met know, the demigod it, Percy it Jackson. It was beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Every moment that I is. enjoy this. What? Wow. What? Thanks, the sarcasm? Amigo. I feel so excited to show you the next bit. Anyway, so you guys are continuing on. I Did swear to God, if you pull per Percy Jackson into this, I will actually riot. Hell no. I, ain't dealing I will commit guys. suicide. <laughs> I will commit sewer slide if we have to deal with Percy Jackson. Right, remember you can't you can't say the S word on Twitch. Yeah, he said sewer I said slide. Permit sewer slide. Anyway, continuing on, the lush lands turned into what looked to be the Scottish Moors. The shrub. Oh, yes. Boy, we in Scotland now. That was a horrible it looks to be bits and pieces of tall <laughs> toaster bath. Uh, uh, it, you see bits of tall grass start to pop up and the lichen-covered rocks. Like it's grass that is trying to keep holding on. Then I you, killed the grass. <laughs> as you continue on, you could swear that you heard a thump, rumble of thunder and you see it off in the distance looks to be a large thundercloud just moving on itself lazily sliding in the sky and I'm actually going to take a small break because I've got to pee you said to go pee <laughs> I didn't you, okay? you did say to go pee I did Don't say to go pee but yeah so yeah oh my gosh they don't know oh I'm talking to gosh. stream right now. Also, uh, everyone will all discuss matters of the soul. Yeah, she is the number one fan that I was telling you guys about. It is going to be fun. Hello. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. How much money did we get for the uh, the bounty? <laughs> I think it was like what five gold. Like I, I, five I think gold I got five out little. of it for each person. It was very little. Yeah, I'm rich. Wait, I thought we got like 15 gold. Split. Oh, now we got like six. Days. We ended up with six gold because that's all the money I have on my person. And I didn't have money before this. I didn't realize. I should put the six gold in my inventory then, right? Uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. using roll 20, so I have a place for it, but I don't know what y'all are using. Uh, I'm supposed to be constantly broke, so... I guess six. Oh, finally. Oh, my gosh. That took forever. <sighs> My tone versus methotone does not always happen to be even near each other. Crazy weather we're having. I have decided I am a god. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? No, you are a rock. <laughs> I am a rock god. I want to eat. I bread. am a god of rock. To place thunderstruck. <laughs> oh. 
What what if I ate the grass? Just like do it. A handful. Do it. Bet you won't. I'll do it when DM comes back. Oh my goodness. You can eat grass. It's fine. But I swear to God, if you eat anything else, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I'm going to eat, eat everything the child. <laughs> Don't eat method. She doesn't taste good. How do you know if you haven't tried it? Because pork and goat don't go together. But maybe it does. <laughs> it does. Pork and goat? Has, has anybody actually eaten goat? No. Uh, no, I haven't. I Me neither. Lamb. Oh, oh yeah. I've had lamb. And I've it, had lamb, but not correctly. Goat. Lamb is really good. It's too I've fatty for me, lamb. man. That's a good, that's that's a good point, man. Allie. Method has glass in her insides. I would not recommend eating. Time for me to figure out what method tastes like. All right, roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Method no, kidding. no, I, I put. Rachel, I will buy you. I healed a her. Method is not. I was kidding. kidding. I healed her. There's no glass. I mean, there technically is still glass, but it's no. There's not. In heating. Hmm? Ian, you're back. Yeah, I am. I had to. Uh, I was putting on. The reason why it took so long is because I was finding PJ pants to wear. Cause they're so much more comfortable than regular pants. Hell yeah, they are. You know what? You know what's even more comfortable? No pants. Now, so here's the thing. Um, I can do that, but Dick I also. on screen. No, hell no. Nah. <laughs> no, I didn't <laughs> say no underwear. I just said no pants. Oh, going commando is fun. Um. <laughs> anyway. No, I just put on uh, nude-looking le leggings, and it's fun because I like freaking people out that I'm not wearing any pants or anything, except it's leggings. Anyway, back to the plot. Yes, plot. Mm -hmm. Anime Tracks. titties. It's kind of strange that there's a lot of grassland around here because you remember in your childhood that there were trees spanning from your place to... The old village where you guys were. Hmm. Can, can Method try to eat the grass? Method, we're in a cart. We're currently moving in the cart. If you want so, to, you yes. can make a death <laughs> check. Okay. Leaving her behind, boys. Hold on, no. She's leaning out. Let's see if she can do this. Commando, no. That's fine. Now make me a deck save. <laughs> That's a five. Oh, no. This is bold. This is the brave and the bold. Well, hey, you were hey, able hey. to grab a bit of grass to eat it on while you're while you were moving, and you do slip out of the wagon. You are able to land on your hooves. You take no damage. However, now you Trax, have to catch up the to fucking the... Guy. <laughs> you have to catch up to the wagon. We're not stopping. I'm not gonna catch Trax, up to the wagon. I'm gonna somebody. eat the grass. I will cut you. You better run better then. I'm on the ground now, so I'm gonna go eat grass and a little bit of dirt. Is Method within 15 feet of the cart? Nope. As you keep moving forward, it is 5 feet per second. Right All right, now, I'm going you guys to... Are, you guys aren't going at full tilt. You guys are moseying. I'm going to tell him to stop, and I'm going to put my Mississippi. pointy thing towards his neck. To Mississippi? Stop. I guess I'll stop. Three Mississippi? All right, you guys are currently 15 feet away from the cart. <laughs> Need to put, like, a bear trap there or something next time. <laughs> a few hours later, I'll <laughs> <shoot Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> method over here, like eating dirt and grass, like mm, um, yes. Uh, Wait for them, then pick it back up. All right, method is currently you can't lose away, method. Uh, He's the only the one who can see things. Actually, I would like. Through... To... Mm -hmm. Yes, sorry. I would like to take and make myself a lasso <laughs> and go fishing for a method via the cowboy aesthetic. Roll me a weapons check with uh, a flat V20. 
Oh no 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 no. No 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 need. I'll do it with my cantrip lightning lure. No. I don't want to hurt her. I'm just trying to catch her. Damn it! <laughs> No, what the fuck is with my rolls no, tonight? Lightning lure. The yaw oh, returns. Oh shit. <laughs> uh oh. I need to learn telekinesis or something. <laughs> this is dangerous. Can I choose to do minimum damage? Or no? Oh, you ho. Alright, <laughs> let me look it up. I was gonna show everyone what it was, but. And Google Chrome is seizing. Why? Hello? Well, that's what you get for using Google Chrome. Hey, Google Chrome's fine. Alright, lightning lure, 15 foot radius. This is... Alright, here's the funny thing. Method, are you going to allow yourself to be taken from your grass that you are currently eating? Yeah, I do not resist, period. Alright! You still take- I need a 1d8 for lightning damage. Aaron? How much lightning damage do I take? 1d8. You, 1D8. Take, two, you take two damage. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Yeah. yeah. So, method- as if by a magnet, you are pulled quickly in a straight line towards the wagon, and then you take- I cast Meteor Swarm. And then as oh, the lightning- Oh, jeez. You don't have that. <laughs> as the lightning that turns to thunder, you take two damage, even though, like, you know, fuck it, why not? Because, you know, fuck it, why not? Wow, that's that's a way to get damaged. <laughs> no, it says that you take damage as soon as you're five feet within the, uh, within your, within the five foot range of the caster. But you're supposed to get hit with lightning before you get put, pu you're pulled. So <laughs> where am I supposed to throw the damage at? Is it before you get pulled? Because that's not what the it says on there. Is it after you get pulled? Because that's where it would be. But you'll get hit with lightning e beforehand. So the suspense is killing me. <laughs> Method, you take Nobody two damage, knows. and you're pulled onto the cart. I'm going back. Method's sitting. got her face covered in dirt, and like her hands are covered in dirt and grass, and she's just like, "Oh, hi." Please don't fall out of the fucking cut. But the grass look tasty. I do not You're understand itchy. those made of flesh. This is getting more and more insane as I travel along with you. <laughs> uh, on the road again. Alright, you continue on and tracks, you see some things start to stick up out of the grass. Oh my man. How am I made of flesh? I thought I was made of goat and human. Uh, can I see what it is? Uh, well, that is what all check. you meat bags are made of. Flesh. You see, it's you catch see all when a when a, that, when a man loves a goat it very looks much. Like oh, a flat top rock, but you're not entirely sure. You could be moving too quickly. Well, I guess it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Wait, what what are you rolling for? Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna give you advantage. You mean help action? Yeah, help yes. action because my perception is trash. What do your what do your uh roll a D four? I see advantage. Yeah, roll advantage. Or wait, so does it is it advantage? Advantage is, yeah, uh, advantage is an extra, is roll another d20 plus 15. You start to see the telltale signs of stumps. Recently made stumps, as you continue. Uh, Would explain oh, where the forest went. Are there like Urukai and Saruman in this world? No, 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 no. no. Those are pulled out of the ground. These are chopped. Hmm, any civilizations near here? 
Yes. They look to be a ruined village. The village that ruined you house. would have known as a child to be a bustling yeah, but... logging town called Aberton. Well, how would we know what it's called? Do they have a big sign? Oh, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Like run down kind of ruined or like sacked kind of ruined? Ruined as in no one has lived here for about 10 years. Dun, dun, dun. Sounds uh, pretty cool. Like the perfect place to build my new kingdom. This is the beginning of the empire. This is the beginning of the ice empire. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll navigate to my old house. You see a proud t a proud house gleaming around on the on what is basically a prairie now. You see that it is beautifully adorned with gold and sapphires gleaming all the way to your cart as you round a few hills. My family had drip. <laughs> The, the gems look tasty. I'm going to hop Do you say that out loud? Because I will yes. literally have problems with you. I'm yes. going are, are to you hop just off currently the gnawing with... on Junko? No. No, What's she gnawed on, on me. I would have slapped her off. What's going on, Eren? I'm going to hop off the cart and with a dagger just start prying the sapphires off. You are not close <laughs> enough to the He goes for a run. He goes for a run. You're follow. gonna get fucking left behind. Left behind. Bah! Mess Later. Follow. I take over the reins and like, well. Nope, so Trax has the reins. Yeah, Trax has the reins. Trax is just like, alright. I push Trax uh, out of the way and I take over the cart. It is Junko's cart now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I'll let Junko drive. Method and I are going to steal sapphires. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Push I have my hands free. I'll, I'll get like palm in my longbow. It's 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 like the scenes when the, before they draw in like the westerns. I get ready for either of them to make a run for it. All right, you are now close enough to see that it, there are what looks to be signs made of wood. Um, tacked onto what looks to be iron gates. Can I read them? Yes, as you get closer, um, you can see that they're dyed a strange red color. You wow! Sold, you sold your souls to the devil, and God has taken your trees. Uh, I did? God no. has taken your trees, for the lower racks will steal your need. No, no, no. It seems like what happened while you were away has has really brought some shame upon your household. Ah, oh, shoot. There is a doorman that is currently asleep beside the iron gates. I guess I'll uh, uh, head up to the iron gates and say, Oh, there. Oh. Uh. Who, who are you? Heir to the manor. Uh, which one? The best one. He picks his nose. I have not seen you or anyone that looks like you. So you speak to uh, the servants of the mighty off. ice prince. Now open the door. Tracks. Trax is the name. Trax. Why is your name T-Rex, by the way? Uh, I, you know, Trax as in, like, you know, Trax. I'll go ask the owner of the manor if Why are you named anyone. after a Transformer, then? I'll go no, it's actually a word, but... Lord, if, if I'll allow you in. He gets up and hobbles through his small little house, hut area, and... It looks like he hasn't run in a couple of years, so he kind of just hobbles up to the house and disappears. Within the... I am Eric. 
I can hear, like, just a distorted Echo, audio. echo, echo. Mute the stream. <laughs> I'm not on the stream. I'm not gonna wait for him to get back. I'm gonna misty step through the gate. Alright, you have left your cart behind. Excuse right, me, my cart. So Method and I are going to steal those steal those sapphires. You guys are currently outside of the iron gates. The cart has not been let in. <laughs> However, some of you do have ways of getting around the doors. I just. I'll be damned if I let Eret in. <laughs> Damn. Are, are the sapphires the in the gates or outside the gates? The sapphires are on the manor, which are inside the gates. Okay, Method's gonna start climbing over over the gate. Try to Rolling try to stack pull her up. For you are a goat, and these are slippery metal. Back on Titan scene. <laughs> Dex, right? Back on yes. Titan. Ba -da 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 -ba -da 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 I'm going to just pick Method up, and I'm going to cast Thunder Step. Uh, you need to do an exclamation point, not the three. Okay. Anyway. You, uh, a little bit of difficulty, at first, you climb your way over the iron gate. You are now standing beside tracks. I, I will just call to the others on the other side of the gate and say, can you just let us in the regular way? Just open the door. It shouldn't be locked. Perhaps. <laughs> What's in it for me? I can Method just take the I wagon and leave. Open. Fair point. I open the gate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I will be actively chuckling as I um get the horses to take the wagon inside. Yep, the gate is open and you are able to go inside. Inside looks like a beautifully manicured lawn that is fresh and green while everything around it is a dreary yellow. Method's mm. going for those for, for, for those uh inedible things. There are bushes, there are beautiful stone statues, all of which tracks this hasn't this was not your house whenever you left how you left it. Method's gonna mm. eat the shrubbery. Eric's going to pick up method and look for anything value he can borrow without permission. Method's eating shrubbery. <laughs> Barrett has method under his arm. It's like, no. Stop that. Don't you have soup or something? But, but they look tasty. Soup is also tasty. Eat soup. Soup is tasty and edible. The strawberry is edible. The strawberry Not is if it's edible. poisonous. Gonna... But what do I know? I am but a stone statue. Let her eat whatever she wants. I'm sure she'll survive something. I ain't trusting that. Method eat soup. But the shrub, the shrubbery looks tasty. Method. It's just wood. At least I know it's not glass. You see, Junko. a man what is come that out people? with the doorman, and he goes, "Oh, hello." Welcome, welcome. I see that Lord Trax has come back. Welcome. Your money or your life, old man? Oh, jeez. I doubt you'll be able to kill me. Anyway, I hope, I hope that the manner is to your liking, sir. The, the miss has spent a few, few of the family riches to... I'll make it more accommodating to her guests. He all, he to whose to guests? His, to her guests, her and her husband. You see, he talks like this all while wearing what looks to be a smile that looks that is unnaturally painted on. I would like ah, to see, see if he's real, because I recognize paint. He yes. is real. It just looks like his smile is painted on because he never drops it. Oh. I'm gonna punch him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. Method's trying to eat strawberry 
wood and grass and dirt. Ah, you cannot, because I, I am hoping- I see you brought a goat child with you. The mist has always been wonderful to those of different blood. Now, come mm. in, come in. We will, we will have refreshments started for you. As I head inside, I'll ask, uh, I was coming here to look after my father. My father, is he, is he here? Let's see, Trax, your father is, has not been alive for more than a couple of years now. He was quite <laughs> <ill. that> <laughs> But he's been dead for 50 Wait, so years. <laughs> <laughs> My dad for a few years now, Master. Interesting. And who is the house? Precisely. Precisely. Well, your mother has Precisely. taken over the manor and has Precisely. paid me to make sure that everything is as perfect as she is. Of course. Too bad your mom's a hoe. Could I speak to her? She's currently entertaining some other guests that have arrived today, but she will join you at dinner. Are there any halls around? Halls? Like, Just halls. Like yeah, there are offshoots. a couple of hallways and other things. You see what looks to be maids hurrying around, gathering blankets, some wine, other <laughs> and stuff. So I will Could turn I find invisible. There are some errand boys, but Junko, you said that you're just gonna stand in the hall. Oh no 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 no! I'm going to I'm gonna let the group like pull away from me if they're moving further in, and just use my channel divinity to turn invisible. Gotcha. That's perfect. And fun. then start spooping. All right. There are a couple of errand boys, but some of them look a more they look more uh, busy than others. Hmm. Could I could I look for a not busy one walking yes. or less busy one? Yes, there is a smaller one that is currently who who is currently just trying to stitch together something. You can talk to him. I'll grab his shoulder and I'll say. Are there any small wooden or stone figures? Any anything handheld? Yes, but they're made of gold. Um, that won't stop Natch. her. <laughs> Natch. Natch. The knick knack paddywhack bandit will come again. So give I'm Method a bone. To... Oh, God. <laughs> Every time Method tries to eat a gold statue, I'm going to take it from her and put it in my bag. I would like to find. I would like to go to the deepest parts of the, the hole. The whole part of a crime is that nice they're not supposed to know it's made in a very secluded area to just fuck with for a while. It wouldn't be hard to guess who it was. Okay, we'll come back to you. Thank uh, you. Ariat and Method, you are both pulled away from the priceless figurines by what looks to be a very haughty maid. What are you doing? Don't you know I'm... those are heirlooms? Yes, Method's they're very good. important, and I'm keeping them away from the small biting child. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me see them. Put them out of your bag. I... Okay. Let me look at this spell really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is the maid wearing like a hair thing? You know, one of those hair things that look like a headband? A no, not hair band? Her hair is, Fuck. I screwed that up. Is pulled back into a soft bun. Her hair... Her hair is a ruddy brown with streaks of red in it. Distort value. Let me look at this spell. A phrase that haunts every DM. Yeah. He used the spell in a different campaign. Yeah. I'm going to pull out one of the heirlooms that I grabbed and I'm going to cast distort value on it. 
It's I cast the short to... value on your brain. Now you think you're worth something. I am Ooh. so sorry. Ooh, I <laughs> never thought I was like... worth something. <laughs> I I apologize for Can that. I just going to give this body a a blank <laughs> stare to space. Okay, so this as I pull this thing out, it just looks absolutely ruined by small goat nom marks. <laughs> oh, heavens! Alright, what's the save that I have to do for that? Is there... It's... I think it's like an intelligence save or something. You... anyone... Alright. No more than one foot on the side, doubling the object, blah blah blah. Help of illusory scratch extends for features. Sorry. Anyone, anyone examining the right, object no, no, no. can ascertain its true value with a successful investigation check and small cell save. So yeah, investigation. Oh, it does not. Oh heavens! You see her kind of wilt to the side and throw her hand up in a dramatic fashion. Whatever will we do? One of the heirlooms have, have been damaged. But what are the other ones? Please tell me. Please oh, tell me. Oh, they're all the same way. They're all the same way. Well. Give me a all you have to do is sell them to me. Dollars and I'll, you know, fix them. The I'm going to hand her, like, one more them? heirloom and just just use my uh, only other spell slot on it. Here you go. It's almost like warlocks suck. I'm kidding. It's almost like you're a bitch. <laughs> Woo. At least I can she actually cast spells more than this twice. Spell. She goes, what? This one's perfectly fine. Just a little bit of slobber on it. She takes her, uh, her apron and quickly wipes it off. It's perfectly uh, fine. What do you mean it looks this... Hand me all that's in your bag. Deception check. Oh, what do you what do you mean? I <laughs> spotted four spots where the heirlooms weren't. I have Well somebody only obviously two. stole them. Method makes grabby hands at the heirloom. <laughs> she holds them up above Method's grasp. Ah uh, ah uh, uh. No. Well yeah. somebody obviously stole them. You guys need to up your security around here. Sir, Sir, they you have please wards on the bottom of them. If you leave, you'll explode. Method. If you leave, you'll Method explode. Like <laughs> Eric, drop me. I'm going to lightly put Method down. Method makes grabby hands again for the heirloom. You're not giving them. She Method is me. going to eat. Method is going to pull out her crossbow and shoot at the hand of the cage. Oh my lord, I'm Roll so glad I'm not here for it. this. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to impose disadvantage on the crossbow shot. Okay, roll two crossbow shots and, what, and take the lower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh goodness, I don't seem what? to have any... Uh... Just, oh god, I completely 2d20. 2d20 plus dex, and we take the lower. No, don't impose disadvantage. This will this is work this works out great. Come on. Don't don't impose disadvantage. No, I'm it's imposing done. disadvantage. It's already done. Senseless murder is not what I said. Right, yeah, 17, now the next one. Let's go! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm <laughs> getting <laughs> Method is getting her her golden statue to eat. You have, does good job. You already method. have good disadvantage job. due to the fact that it's a ranged weapon. Oh? Yeah, because you're using it at close quarters. Why my, okay. my phone vibrate? It's air. All right, let me. So, do I gotta roll one more time or? No, 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 no. You're fine. Okay. You didn't hit, but you're fine. You see this lady quickly <laughs> jumps up over your crossbow bolts. 
as Eret slams I get, down. I was aiming for the hand. Yeah, she she jumps over and Eret slams down on the crossbow. Crossbow. Method. No violence unless I tell unless it we're all More doing trucks. violence. Okay. You bring an animal into the house. Drake must have followed me in. I don't know how she got in here. Just well, because she's she has goat legs doesn't mean she's an animal, you fucking racist. Also, this tiefling, is it yours as well? No. Throw them out. I'm going. No, I'm going we to look have at tracks special punishments and... for those who steal. Yes, of course. I'm going to walk over to Trax and I'm just going to smack him upside the back of the head. You... Yeah. You're in my house. I got you for three minutes of playtime. Method, you are picked up by the maid. She puts the heirlooms back and grabs Eret by the back of the neck. Hellish rebuke. It's not damage. I it's not, not damage. It's not damage. Bad touch. Stranger danger. <laughs> <laughs> also, you don't have any spell slots left. You used your two. Yeah. Wait, shit. Method's yeah. not gonna resist being picked Wait, up, no, but she I, is only, gonna try oh. to reach for more heirlooms. You used distort value twice. Why did you make me do this? <laughs> Method. She wanted to eat heirlooms. Now you were- Yes, and I tried to get the heirlooms, but I couldn't talk because you were shooting people. <laughs> now you two, you will be going and working in the kitchens. Helping prepare. Don't worry, I'm not an a I'm not a tyrant. I'll make sure you're fed and pay and you can pay off the two other aliens that I'm pretty sure that are in this tiefling's bag. You have no proof of this, and if you go through my bag, that's a felony. No, it's not considering you're under punishment for stealing the first two. I need to know I'm where the rest of them are. Away from the dying child. Then why didn't She's you put stupid. them on a higher shelf? Anyway, because she would have climbed the shelf, <laughs> and that would have caused more danger. Do you not have arms? Pull her away. But I see that you have no use for your arms, so I will make use of your legs. Now come on, there are wine grapes to be pressed. You are you are not putting me in your alcohol and expecting me not to drink. <laughs> Eric is the one kid in class that said group punishment is against the Geneva Convention. <laughs> you are not putting Also, me may, I, not may I also say it. that uh, you're in the province. A different province than most. So rules may have been different. Now, off we go. And Drake's and watching this entire thing happen. <laughs> yes, this is yes, what they just deserve. Desserts. Uh, All right, what, you have what can I roll to sleight of hand an, an heirloom over to Drixel? <laughs> he is I nowhere near. Yeah, I'm, I'm you're not near. To so, like sleight of hand Method. throw. You're gonna have to sleight of hand me a cheesecake to even think of that roll. Anyway, so. Method is going to keep trying to reach for things that she should absolutely not be eating. The maid sticks something in your mouth. It feels like fabric. Stop shoving things in there. You're not getting anything until you finish working. Method's going to chew and swallow the fabric. Huh. Can I cause havoc now? <laughs> Hold on, we're getting there. We have, we have idiot one and idiot two doing things. Um, Excuse me, I tried to play this. What's the average smart, size of a dish rag things. versus the average size of a human esophagus? Because I think <laughs> Method needs to roll me a con save for choking. I would agree. Yes. Uh, it depends on if she chews or not. She chewed, and then immediately swallowed. Thus, not breaking up any of the fabric. She chewed on the on the dish rag. She didn't pull it apart. So, method. I'm gonna need a con save. (laughs) 
Eric, <laughs> just don't... My dice of Ace Fault. No, if Eric, Eric, you're throwing Eric's Johnson, gonna pull Eric? out his sword phone and he's gonna just be like, any advice here? All right, Damn Hunted, it. You're, you somehow make it, oh, it, it, it's close. It's really close. It's like, oh, 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 it's perfectly fine now. It's like watching. Method's it's like gonna watching... look at the maid with with her usual blank stare and go, "Is there any more?" What do you mean? Did you eat I... my wash rag? I did. Naughty goat. Hey, she is a can I go eat the garden shrubbery? Racist. No. And you. I'd said... like to talk to my lawyer. You don't have a lawyer. Bullshit. Method's gonna keep reaching for things that we should not <laughs> That was embroidered! That's what she said. You are set to stomping grapes <laughs> to be put into wine uh, wine barrels to ferment. Uh, Method, you are currently set on eating any scraps that are feasibly able to be eaten. You are come you have become the human trash can. Or just trash can. Alright, over to Jacob. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm sneaking through the mansion. Trying to uh You see it in the corner. To... Junko. <laughs> well it's like my my steps clack, right? Yep. So <laughs> I will I'm making it in I... tune with one of the maids that is Yep, yep, that's what I do until I get pretty far into the mansion. I'm looking for someone who is alone, who looks like they could be easily scared in a dark room. There are several maids who are going in and out. Also, dude, she was on to you. Eric, you d tried to deceive her t several times. I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to roll deception. Because you wouldn't have been able to. She was you would have rolled to. with disadvantage anyway. Yeah, because she knows that you used the spell to fuck with her vision. She knows what she saw. Wait, there's do. a certain point where you just gotta take the loss, mate. Yeah. Alright, so Junko, there are four maids. They all look pretty skittish anyways. Like, they bump into <laughs> each other and they go, Oh! Oh! oh Meredith, what are you doing down here? Same as you, Judy. Just trying to make sure that the ladies are happy. Oh, you know, Meredith. Oh, hush up, Judy. Nothing bad ever happens down here. Is hush up, you dark? two. I'm sorry. I'm Is sorry, it Danny. Dark? It's rather we'll dark. never say that again. Danny? Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> no! I said Danny, like a girl who's named Danny. Okay, I was about to have a lot of problems with you. Junko, if you had any sort of sense of smell, it would smell like... Oh, oh I do down. smell. I can smell. Ah. I mean, the Warforged just don't, don't really go through poison and stuff, and yeah. I don't have to breathe, but that doesn't mean I can't. Yeah. I'm magic. Magic and shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm magic. I'm moving literally through magic. Something oddly sweet, like sickening sweet in the air as the there are clouds of purple billowing out of the doors every time a maid goes in and comes out. I decide that I don't need to breathe. <laughs> Because I don't know what that is. <laughs> so I I'm okay with that. Fuck breathing today. <laughs> so, uh, so I, I mean, will... you know what? Just sometimes you gotta do it. Oh, I, I will move towards the door. And, um, at first I'll just take and, like, lightly, like, Gosh, okay. touch them on the shoulder. And, like, quickly pull away when they turn away. Because as long as I'm not attacking anybody, I can stay invisible for a good long while. For, you like, an hour. A honey haired child walking out with what looks to be used rats and you tap her she goes ah! and drops the rags on the floor and she goes oh must have been my imagination oh, these the drugs they're using must be getting to me and you see her gather up all the rags and continue on 
Okay, so I will run my hand through people's hair. I will tap them. I will pull on their clothing. And I will also step out of cadence with their own stepping for a while just to get them all nice and riled up. And then after I get them really scared, I'll go into the other room and see what's going on. <laughs> you terrify these poor maids. They are hired to help. And you're just like, mm, those bitches in particular, let me just fuck with them. Uh, <laughs> victims. <laughs> victims. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you get them nice and riled up. You get a couple to just bolt out of there screaming their heads off. You Excellent. hear a lot of them go Miss Candela something touched me. Or, she touched or, my their, a ghost touched my butt. Or, Ghosts here of all places. And oh my gosh what just touched me. Uh, uh. I will be using thaumaturgy to also open random doors within range of thaumaturgy. And then slamming them shut, because I believe that's part of it. Hold up. Let me tell you what it is. Hold up. Let me tell you what it is, because I'm I'm getting into this. I'm having fun here. I love how everyone else is freaking out. Drix is just like, hmm, yes. The floor is here. I've only got 30 feet. I've only got 30 feet, So, but I'll be moving around the room to capture different, like, doors and shutters. It's not only the women that you spook, it's also the men who are inside the... Uh, Man inside. screams as loud so, as ah! high pitched as you've ever heard. Who opened so the door? I'll, I'll have, like, cries of ravens and ominous whispers. I will be using the fuck out of this uh, cantrip. Okay, men... anything I can do, I do. Okay. So you see men and women, both stark naked, run out of their rooms trying to get away from whatever the fuck you're doing. You know, I've heard hauntings bring up a real estate <laughs> these days. <laughs> you hear oh. they you hear people like just barefoot hitting stone run past you and all that. You see doors open and close, open and close, open and close over and over and over and over and lord and behold <laughs> You clear out the opium den. Excellent. So I go into the opium den. Ah, and okay. I take a real good look about what's going on in the opium den. The opium step opium. Into... My house is cooler than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. It's only because the of the debauchery. Of the opium. Anyway, so... <laughs> it's only because of the debauchery. Uh, sorry, I cracked myself up. I think... Steal the debauchery. Ah, uh, that's just ash. That's going over there now. So, as you walk in, you see lavish velvet wall drapings going on. You see a poor blind man who is just cowering in the corner. You see I will. a deaf woman just going on a hook and like, oh, I wonder what's going on. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Why the fuck okay. did everyone leave? Is it time for dinner? Make the doors all open and shut at once. So, so I'll go up to the to the blind man. We're and I'll with the blind. Okay. Yes, I will. So I'll run. I'll run a hand through his hair, and like actually grab the back of his uh, neck and pull Grim's him forward. Ass. Pull him forward and say, ass. "You better run." The poor man and then shits slam himself. his head down and then run away. <laughs> Not run away, but move out of the himself. way. And passes out due to the, you slamming on the head. His head on the floor. Um, oh, I, I will be oh, using oh. thaumaturgy to echo my cacklings throughout as far as I can. The open den is now haunted, bitches. It's mine. <laughs> Steal some so, of the opium. Things that happened on my you session. Must. My sister took over an opium den by scaring everyone shitless. Uh, so I'll also mess with the. Uh, well, I'll actually like mess with the deaf woman by kind of like flopping her about. Like she's probably high, right? She can't hear anything that's going on. I think she might have saw the deaf, the blind man over there 
fall over after his head got slammed on the floor? I don't know. But you know what? I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make some work out of it. So, so what if are there's you any flames exactly. if there's any flames that are about her, which I don't know. I've never been to an opium den, so I don't really know there uh, what's no about it. Open flames. Okay. So I will It's like giant jerk flames. her I will grab her arm and jerk her up and then quickly let go so she falls forward. You see her like get pulled up like a marionette with one of the puppeteers quickly jerking his arm up and flops back down into the actual scene she goes this is better than I thought oh so she's gonna be one of those is she okay she's All like right. I'm getting a show everyone's freaking out I got free use of this hookah fuck you people Okay, so I'll... Hmm. How do you scare the deaf? That's an excellent question. <laughs> How do you scare the deaf? So, I'm going to make a sacred back. flame. Okay, where? Since, uh, just in my hand, and I'm going to, like, put it close to her face. So it kind of looks like a will-o'-the-wisp, right? Okay. And just kind of floats around her head That's for a bit. That's not what Sacred Flame does, but okay. Yeah, it does. Sacred Flame is radiant damage. It is not fire damage. So yeah, I'm taking it in my hand. I'm not throwing it at her. I'm not throwing it at her. I have it in my hand. I have it readied. So it's just kind of, I'm just holding it around her head and kind of dancing about because I have really nothing else to do. She thinks Wait. this is the fucking best drug trip she's been on in years. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Everyone evacuated the area. That man over there oh. shot himself and fucking died. There's a weird will of wisp thing that's one of She's having a grand old time. Well, Wait. after I get bored, I'll actively, like, bodily pick her up and kind of, like, throw her out of the room and then lock the door. It's my room. Doesn't the cloak of shadows end if you cast a spell? It's not a cloak of shadows, it's invisibility. invisibility. And I did not attack her. It has to be an attack. I have to be attack or attack someone. Attack I was using it more in effect. Didn't you slam somebody's head? Actually, I kind of like th just threw his head forward. I wasn't actively hurting anybody. It's a trick. It's not an attack. It's not a treat, I can tell you that. Junko is keeping all opium to herself. <laughs> she can't even fucking get high off of it, I don't know why. Over to Drixel and Trax. Opium you grenades. guys are escorted to a wonderful drawing room. It is covered from floor to ceiling in decadence. Like, burgundies, electric blues. You got pictures of just debauchery. Ah, a room fit for me. Titty. Titty everywhere. Boobs, if you will. Titty. Mommy milkers Rest are, if you're if so you inclined. <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you shut it. Mm, crunchy ice. White people and I crunching ice. Hey, it good shit, though. Anyway. Tracks. Fuck you, I like crunching ice. Crunching ice makes the... Are you white? Yeah, he is. Are you white? <laughs> yeah. He's whiter than He me. is so incredibly white, I can feel the sunburn from here. <laughs> Alright, what else is in the room? You're whiter than there I am. There are what well, looks to be luxurious couches. In between them is a glass table that has little footers on it that are made of gold. This seems to be a popular coffee bar because there's also what looks to be its own coffee station. What? Now this is very rare considering coffee doesn't exactly grow well on Luestra. You have to import it. They got a motherfucking cure. <laughs> It's more of an espresso machine, but sure. Awesome. Spicy. 
the man who has escorted you all this way goes, Wait here while I go and get the man, madam, to talk to you. Can I, uh... I look directly at tracks. I'm not waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, uh, inspect the room and look for anything odd? I mean, the entire room is odd, but sure, go ahead, Romeo. <laughs> All right. Investigation, my guy. Ten. The whole yeah, I'm room just... is jank. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, well. Drixel, would you like to help him? Sure. Okay, you got advantage. Roll again. Thirteen. Thirteen. It's a little odd choice. You know, electric blue and burgundy. I'm pretty sure that belongs to the god, but I'm not sure what it is. All right. Mm, I'm going to break everything in this room. You, before you even take a swing into the the luxurious couch, you you guys hear the door open. Like mid punch, stop. Look over. We didn't ask for a maid. It's not the maid. It's the madam of the manor. Oh no, he still says that, knowing full well who it is. Well, I have not been called a maid in several years. Oh, in great. walks a mannish woman who stands taller than Trax. Trax, there is no such thing as a woman this tall in your family. <laughs> <laughs> there is no such, <laughs> no such thing as a woman. <laughs> I want so much. There's a woman. Woman. <laughs> no. so <laughs> woman. What? It's like at the end of a dialogue line before you uh, before you hit A to read the next piece of dialogue in a video game. There's no such thing as a woman. A woman. <laughs> Do I recognize? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know that one. Oh, you oh, know geez. this one. You know him, oh. or rather, what was a him? This was your. Uh -oh. This is your father. Whoa! Just Jesus entirely Christ. in drag. <laughs> Let's go. I am missing Whoa. this. What? Oh, oh my what god! A, what a guy! A woman. Uh... Oh, it's been so long, tracks. Welcome back home. Oh, Lovely to be know. back. Oh. <laughs> Let's get sick in it. <laughs> Chad is not, is not happy with my BS tonight. Okay. <laughs> I'm not happy with your BS tonight. <laughs> but you'll come next oh. session just to see. Oh, it, is, uh, it is wonderful required. to be back. I signed a contract. The fact that I claw oh, <laughs> RuPaul. <laughs> I'm required uh, to. I signed a contract. We didn't <laughs> sign nothing. Anyway. Oh, but I, I have a copy of the contract you made me sign. No, the fuck I didn't sign, make you sign anything. <laughs> now, who is this love muffin? Oh, gross. <laughs> and, uh... Unfortunate acquaintance. Oh, really? No, is he that unfortunate? More than you know. Oh, but to be next to such a man, you so the this this woman walks over to you and just hugs on your arm. Drix does not realize that that is a man. <laughs> um, That's not even like better. To, like to note that his perception and insight are trash. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not even rolling for it because I know I'd fail. Anyway, um, Ooh, I'm filled with no. <laughs> I'm filled with so much joy right now. <laughs> so much so, joy. Aaron, so I guess Aaron, be glad that you're not here. <laughs> I guess I just I have to figure out, like, okay. he's just watching very confused. It's like, like okay, Moy women all, don't I throw, also throw say themselves that at me he has fast. the long nail, so he can't even ball up his fist, like, 
you know, thinking man style, he has to close his hand like the top of a, a latch of a uh, latch of a perch, like over. And, uh, and so he doesn't. Drix is just gonna look at her. I I'll, I'll call it her for a while. Um. Anyway, uh, gonna look at her and be like, usually women don't throw themselves at me this fast. Oh, why wouldn't they? Such a hunk. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go die now. <laughs> hey guys, you guys wanna oh. meet the god of debauchery? Yeah. Hate. Me vaguely considering throwing this woman across the room. But Shrax, why Do come it. here? Are you Kill here to join dead. the cult of bone as well? Cult, the cult of, of bone? What now? Cult of bone! Such a wonderful cult! Has given us much riches! Can't you tell? You all are very glad I, I'm not here. I did notice the uh, new decorum around. Oh, it is a gift from our god. This area has been claimed by my by my family. You, there is no cult oh, here. Oh, hush now! And she uses her her finger to tap dri- boop the snoot for Trixel. Hate, <laughs> love. It's already been claimed Hate. by our Lord Puck. Who the fuck Oop. is Puck? Oh, you have you a touch. Oh. Such a wonderful story. Come, come, now we sit. I sit. Dr- uh, Dr- 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 I'm going to need an in- uh, I'm going to need a perception check. <laughs> Do you really want this? Yes. Uh, I'm really hating this. <laughs> you have no idea how much this is. Dr- Dr- you're not entirely <laughs> sure that that's a woman. It looks like a woman. It behaves like a woman, but you're not. Therefore, entirely it's a sure. woman. You're not entirely sure if it's truly a woman. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the chat is here, and it, they know who Puck is. Uh, if someone oh, wants no. to, oh no, I know exactly no, who yeah. Puck is in character. Yeah. I have no idea. No, well, Damn. someone trying to uh, tell uh, Ally what's going on with Puck. I'll let you guys handle that. Isn't uh, Puck, like, the main antagonist in, like, the entire world? Uh, he's one of several. Anyway. He's a anyway, fuck. Uh, so... And I don't appreciate He's gonna look, to look at this woman and be like... Hmm. Throw woman against floor. No, she's already sitting. She's asking you to sit across from her. No! No! Pick up! Slam into floor! I stop him. Go. You can't. I'm going to need a quill ball. Uh, that's part of the cards. That athletics or is that just strength? That is like, is strength. that athletics or is that just strength? Uh, it's, it's, it's strength. I'll is be right this... back. Oh my gosh. Yes! Mm. <laughs> yes! I hate you. Well, actually, he meets. What? Yep. <gasps> Dang. It's not a hockey puck. Anyway. Fair enough. A midsummer, night dream. a midsummer Night's Dream. Look that up. It's kind of like the Shakespearean puck, but uh, throw Warhammer 40k's More uh, clown god at him. Oh, jeez. Yeah. You did good. Don't worry. You did good. Anyway. She goes. <laughs> Wait, she. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm glad I saw that your strength was up. Wait, what? So, that's a man. Like, just, just Drixel tosses her, like, no, tosses Dri- him, I guess. Drixel just tosses starts. Him away. Someone was like, able to meet me. No woman should be able to eat, meet me. 
that's a man. That's a man. It's like, no, you don't toss because he met. Right. Just like release, basically, just like and be like disgusting. Oh, honey, it's 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 not as disgusting if you just go into your desires. Come, come, now we talk. And she goes, uh, she goes over to the seat. Also, I'm not making fun of trans people. I'm making fun of the those who pretend to be trans. That's all. I'm We're making fun. fun of the people who use it as a uh, personality trait instead of just as a part of who they are. Yeah, I'm making fun of the next uh, the Netflix variety. It's RuPaul's little... Drag Race. All right. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. Drix is stand is Drix crosses his arms and is like, I'm standing. But I've already disinfected the couches. Come oh, on. What? <laughs> they shouldn't. <laughs> out, of out of character. Out of character. Oh they no. Be disinfected because they should never have that. <laughs> They never that been infected in the, in the first, first place. place. Just sit down, come on. Hurry up. If you would like, I can get you a sanitary blanket to sit on. In I've character, he sighs and sits down very gingerly on the on the couch, basically trying to pr- to touch as little of it as possible. <laughs> so only the little lip of his ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like his tail is just whoop, straight up, like across against his back as close as possible. Yes. His entire body reads absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> his entire body is very tense. So, whenever we were, unfortunately, whenever you left. The blessings of our land left as well. So I had to find a new garden. Well, one came to me. Oh, he was a dashing fellow. Taught me new things. New things about myself as well. <laughs> so I sold him my trees in exchange for unfathomable wealth. Some of the people didn't like it. So they left. Others came here, searching for shelter against the prying eyes of society. I wish you guys could see the hand motions I'm doing. I of would... course. I don't want to see them. <laughs> I feel like it's masturbation motions. No, no, no. When she, she's like doing the the theater feint where she has one hand just lightly against yeah. her forehead okay. while reaching up lazily and she's so she's very dramatic and just reaching okay. out well i'm very happy that you could find wealth in such trying times why yes i mean whenever lionheart I can't see through my glass. Give me a second. <laughs> Whatever lion heart, the center. Drix you... is mentally noting to destroy this entire place when he gets the chance. Good. Um, this is to introduce you guys to the big bad. Whenever lion heart, the center of all our culture fell. Well, some of the. Is this building made of wood? No, it's made out of stone. Fuck. Is there anything I... around here that's made of wood? Hey, buddy, you can't hear this. <laughs> the stumps. I sent you something, DM. I know, I know. You're going to be spooping around the manor. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. I'm conquering the manor using spoopery. No, One I... opium den at a time. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, as soon as the opium den is, cl- uh, is... After you leave it, everyone will go and check and then continue doing what they're doing. You act like that. I won't come and uh, clear out my opium den every once in a while. <laughs> no, no. I am a multi-level spooperer. I am. I'm black belt in spoopery. Gemini's work. I know. Oh yes, this mansion will be mine by the end of the day. So you were speaking of the cult. Yes, our Lord, Lord Puck. This manner reminds me of a 
Mask of the Red Death. Mask of the Hunt the... Yes, Red Death. It be... Kind of. Yeah, it actually kind of is. God, shish. Um, oh, yes. He came and gave us wealth and brought us a wonderful herb to smoke to alleviate all our stresses. I used it to build myself a new empire. Not one based on wood, no. One based on desire. And plants. Lots of plants. Oh, yes, and lots of plants. <laughs> but... I was saying that out of character, I'm sorry. And plants, yes. But... Tracks, what brings you back? Are you looking for shelter? Just passing through. Um, do you think you could furnish me with some goods with the wealth you've acquired? I, it might make me more amicable to the idea of the cult you were speaking of. Of course! Yeah. You can even stay for dinner. We're supposed to be meeting with our lord tonight. We'll have to talk about that, of but course. I think all the people in my party will be more than happy to do so. Oh, you bring such wonderful people into my house. Yes. I feel suddenly violent. <laughs> so, all right, I'll tell the maids to get you whatever you want if it's in my possession. That would work, yes. Now, me and Money. my friend here should talk about what you told us about the cult. If you'd give us a moment. I'll leave you two boys alone. And she leaves. <laughs> so, now, I'm gonna say, I don't like her either, but we should, we should join the cult as fake members, okay? I'm going to burn this entire place. Pixel, it's made of stone, you stupid bitch. <laughs> you stupid whore, it's made of stone. I'm in the wine cellar, I'm burning as it. As soon as you she leaves. Wine cellar, you're Think about how many more buildings we could be burned like, down. Literally, as soon as uh, he, she steps out, I look directly at Trax and like, I'm burning this entire place to the ground. Think about how many more places we could burn down if we uh, join the Cult of Bone for a little bit. Whew. No. Eric. All right, I'm All right. burning this place down, and I'm killing you first. Trixel and Trax. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Think about how much more fun it'd be though to join a cult. I mean, don't you just join a cult All sometimes. Right. Drixel and Trax will pop off of you for a second. We'll go over to Eric. It's kind of strange. I you're crave really, violence. You're getting some really weird glances. Eret and Method, or just Eret? Just Eret. Got it. It seems like a, I... a lot of tieflings are the wait staff. I'm just stabbing I ain't them. having this. Eret, I'm going to... Uh... You can make conversation with the people beside you. Uh, method, you can make conversation between, uh, you know, being fed. So, do, do you know the deal with this place? Or it just asks a nearby tiefling. Shh. Just smile. We're about to break. We're going to try to leave during the festivities tonight. You in? Fuck yeah, I mean, I hope we burn this place to the ground. We're planning on it. What, what was that method? Here, one second, just to shove something in it over my mouth to be more in character. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, just keep your voice down. They don't like whenever us slaves talk. Oh, I ain't a slave, I'm a guest. A guest? You're a tiefling, just like me. Did you get in here? Yeah, but I came here with, I think, like, the Lord's son or whatever the hell he is. Uh, the <laughs> Madam's son, you mean? Ugh. Honestly, it kind of makes me sick thought... because she bases all of her personality on 
being a, a woman. Just that. Wait. No. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone. So the Lord is dressed dressed himself up like a lady. Yeah, sometimes. Hold, hold on, he has to uh, smile and look like he's having fun. As one of the uh, one of the, someone of a higher rank walks by. Eric's gonna keep talking, and if the person of higher rank looks at him, he's going to give them a thaumaturgy glare and a feral growl. They don't look at you, but they keep moving down the line. Alright. <clears throat> Listen. I was moved here like a couple of months ago. There were already people like me, well, people like us, already here. Unfortunately, a cult of bone just seems like a big sex cult. Mm. They're churning <laughs> out tieflings left and right. I've already seen a lot of people come in here and never leave. I think they're being used as sacrifices for something. But, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Alright. What's the plan? The plan is, like everything, mm -hmm. we all pack up our stuff after everyone's nice and drunk and leave. Got it? Not good enough. Do you know where the wine cellar is? I've never been to the wine cellar myself. You can probably ask those people in the... in in the kitchen. We're about to take our, our bat, vats in for screening. So you can probably ask some of the guys in the kitchen. What's your friend doing eating all the... the great skins? She... It's her punishment, because she was chewing on family heirlooms. Uh, <laughs> okay, kid. Listen, how She's many... a sweetheart, she just ain't too bright. How many, how many people you got? Well, we, we came here with a talking statue, the Lord's Dude, son. Dude, gave me away! Stalker statue! I don't... I don't know you're doing Thank spooky you. shit. I'm sorry. Okay. There's also there so hey uh falls. Can you 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 got can you gotta swallow? I can't understand ya. <laughs> Had to spit that out myself, but uh Method swallows and it says five. Five Kato. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so me uh five. a talking statue. The child, the Lord to Lady shove creature, another ha handful of, like, and a half dragon. <laughs> you guys see a maid quickly run in. <sighs> ghost, ghost in the matter. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, go! Not, not you, ghost. Mm -hmm. Where, where's your superior? Up your ass and around the corner. Uh, you're no help. You! You over there! She, tur mm -hmm. uh, the maid quickly turns over to the tea thing. Where's your superior? Uh, two doors, uh, two rows down, I think. Don't tell her anything. Oh, no. She quickly runs, and you oh, oh. can actually see, underneath, just barely underneath her skirt, a tail flipping in and out. Like, she, she is a tiefling as well, but she's hiding it. <sighs> That's why I told her. Mm -hmm. Her name's Meredith. She's a really nice gal. Kind of ditzy. Mm -hmm. Real nice. Anyway. You, you see her quickly talk to one of the bigger humans, and they quickly run off to off out of sight. The maid appears. Is Eret shackled in any? No. The maid appears between, uh, in front of Eret and Method. All right, I suppose that'll be done. I've searched your belongings and took our heirlooms. You can have your stuff back. Also, the lo the madam of the manor has deemed you worthy enough to go to dinner with her. 
And the rest of the guests. Not entirely sure why. Food. But... Aerith looks at the maid and just gives her another thaumaturgy enhanced enhanced glare. Can I take another handful of trash before we go? You'll fill up your stomach and we have such wonderful things. Anyway, follow me. Method's gonna have have listened to this girl, but she's gonna stare the stare the maid in the eyes, take another handful of trash, and then shove it in her mouth. Blank stare the entire time. Don't make me get the towel. <laughs> the, the just method is sort just of, like, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Aaron just sort of. I would like to intimidate this woman. She's not looking at you, so. I'm going to touch her shoulder. And intimidate. <laughs> it has the opposite effect. <laughs> well, so no, I'm going to give her a scary after... glare. You should be waiting till after the banquet for such pleasantries. I'm going to give her a look of, I will violence you in the face if you don't <laughs> stop this shenanigans. Oh, how terrifying. Come, come. She continues walking. I have plus eight intimidation and you won't let me use it. She's a masochist. It's not going to work. <laughs> opposite effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can turn her into a puddle. More or less, yeah. With a glare. Okay. I'd prob- now I can talk again. What did you eat to put- what did you put in your mouth to simulate that? Plastic bows. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Annie. Oh no. Yes. Over to Junko. (laughs) No, no! You find (coughs) yourself in a hall of paintings and statues. Actual chaotic child. Yes, okay, so this child fantasy- (laughs) Is literally chaos, so we just deal with it. Jinko. He's also a baby. Yeah, she's the mm-hmm. pearl child. Jinko, you find obviously find yourself into the art hall. Ha ha ha. It is well lit. Okay. Well Um are there any of the pedestals still available? There are no pedestals available. I would like to make one of the the statues vacate and make one available. <laughs> How would you like to make a platform available? That's an excellent question, and I'm not entirely sure. Because <clears throat> most of the things that I can come up with would have me destroy the statue. After I make sure that none of the statues are sentient... I will choose one that looks relatively the same build as me. And then, and then I will, what will I do? That's an excellent question. Um, do I know if somebody's going to be coming quickly? No, you don't hear anybody. So I'm going to, as quietly as possible, destroy... The statue with my hammer. It crumbles underneath your blessed uh, hammer. Alright, I will kind of sweep the uh, the stone dust behind the pedestal. And I will stand atop this pedestal. Is there any, uh, is there any, um, doors, windows, shutters in the room? Yes. Oh! They are finally letting in light. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, so then I will, I will lock myself in place and wait for, I will, I will drop my invisibility at this point. Well, it would have dropped because I attacked the statue. Yep. Um, and I will wait for a hapless victim. Oh, it takes a few, a few it takes about half an hour. But your hapless victim does come in the form of Junko. Are there any doors? 
<laughs> yes. Didn't go goblin noises. <laughs> <laughs> that is the. That is basically didn't go. Are there any doors or windows? <laughs> oh my goodness! So, so who tell me who my victim is? Be, it looks to be a young, well, well dressed duke, <laughs> and his date for the evening. A okay, young, a tiefling, a tiefling girl. Okay. All right. All right. Excellent. 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 Scared the So, <laughs> Foist. Foist. I'm going to... This is all through thaumaturgy. Mm-hmm. So, first, I'm going to let... Uh, I'm going to whisper under my breath the verbal component for this spell. And I am going... Are there any... No. There probably aren't any sconces in this room. What the hell is a sconce? It's where they put, like, torches and torches. shit. Yes. Okay, you know the bit that holds the torch? That's, yes, uh, set it's a sconce. I didn't know what the that hell thing. it was called. So it's letting in sunlight. So it's, it's not just, dark enough yeah. for there to be anything yeah. lit at the moment. Yeah. So I'm Where's going to... I'm going to... Uh, create ominous whispers that kind of move about the room. Is that a, is so, that a thing that you can do with thaumaturgy? Um, I can create sounds that originate from a point of my choice within range. And okay. since it's uh, at, the duration is up to one minute, I can have three of them going at once and just I am whispering to myself but they're hearing the ominous whispers so my whispers kind of meld into the ominous whispers so they can't tell where it's coming from and i'm just picking random points around the room okay so they the duke gets a little worry and the tiefling girl kind of becomes glue are the doors open or shut they're currently open oh, 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 oh. they're, they're <clears throat> letting visitors okay Okay. Um, while they're getting worried, I would like to take, and from my vantage point, if I can see either of the doors, take a quick peek and see if anybody else is coming. There is currently no one coming. <laughs> okay. So, um, after a while, I'll let all the ominous just whispers drop and then slam all the doors shut. One right after the other. You get a very non-manly scream from the Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I can't scream because the baby's in the other room. But imagine what happens when your husband gets spooked by you. <laughs> okay. So then, after all the doors shut... I'm going to use thaumaturgy. Man, this spell is just fucking amazing. I'm going to use thaumaturgy to make the ground tremor because I can cause harmless tremors in the ground for one moment, minute, not moment, moment. but it, it's not it's going to be that long, but I can. So the ground is going to twitch and shake. Not enough to cause any damage, but enough to be unnerving. You see them quickly try to open the doors and hold each other whenever the tremors start. Oh, I've locked all the doors. I'm locked You're in here with me now. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked <laughs> in here with me. <laughs> so, um, I'll leave that going. And at the same time, I'll unlock my limbs, which you know makes grinding um, stone yep. noises. Yep. And I will slowly and methodically make my way to the center of the room. Like, drop my parasol away from my face. And let the rumbling stop. Then use thaumaturgy to light up my eyes. With the purple. Ah. Oh, I thought those did that automatically. My bad. Well, okay. Well, yeah. We'll just do that then. <laughs> light yeah. up. And then I'll... <laughs> celestial noises. And um, I'll let my face crack open okay. and go, Welcome to my art gallery. And then I'll use blink because I can. Okay. 
to blink out of existence for a second. And, well, I got... You how long really is blink? Move. You can't move in the astral plane. You can just remove yourself from this plane to the astral plane. Right, and right. And move back. But you yeah, can't move. But I'm hoping to still be really spoopy. And then I'm going to sprint forward, get really close to their face and go, Will you become one of mine? Hold on, let me find my Trying to intimidate. Let me find my D6s. Let's see who pisses their pants. Hopefully both. I'm going for a double pissing situation. It was the man. <coughs> okay. This poor man. And you caused the other one to pass out. I'll let the I'll use thaumaturgy to pop open the door behind him. And it'll fly open. And I'll go, if you want to become a my part of my collection, please. Jay. And have a wide, cracked open grin. As I will start reaching down for the girl. Alright, the girl's passed out. But the cowardly duke goes, I'm not losing my skin for no slave. Goodbye. And quickly runs out. All right, I'll drop all of what I'm doing and like kind of like crack my neck a bit and then like stoop down and um, yeah, I'll stoop down and kind of try to tap the girl's uh, try tap the girl awake. I'll close the door behind her before I try to tap her awake and I'll keep all the doors shut so nobody can disturb us really. And I'll be like, hey, hey. Hey, wake up. She slowly comes to. It takes like a good... Never. 20 seconds. Goes, All right. Uh, I'll make... please, please don't come make me a statue. Shush. Shush. You're okay. Huh? Right. It's a trick. Woo. Oh. Thank you. I'm a trick. Thank you so much. She grabs your hand. And presses it. Like, Instantly uncomfortable. And presses it to her forehead. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for making the man, the man run away. Junko is not really used to this. She's used to people running away. So she will be very awkward, like, uh, yes, uh, good, good for, good for you. And try to, like, extract her hand from the, uh, from the slave. And after she gets her hand back, she'll try to, like, pull the girl to her feet and go, Slave. Huh? Uh, What's that about? Uh, yeah, um... She, well, you pull her to her feet and she goes, uh, Well, I'm... Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I'm not here because of any debt. It's more of, I was born... And then I got the debt? Not entirely <laughs> sure. Mm. But I made Gross. it out of the breeding pits, which that's nice. <clears throat> Though they keep me in the opium den mostly. Don't worry about that. That's my place now. I'll have to go clear out the rats later, I'm sure. But you won't have to worry well, about that did anymore. You go past the opium den to the tiefling breeding pits where, where For... they keep us. Girl, I've tried to be all over this mansion, but there's only so far I can go. Please, if you Show can, me the way. Fo follow me. Show all right. Me. I'm on an adventure. Yep. You follow her down past the art hall, past the opium den, which is still empty, except for the deaf lady who is just having the time of her fucking life. No, I removed her. I oh, removed her from yeah. my opium den, remember? No, she, she is still high on the floor. I, I kind of snarl, moved. I'll kind of snarl my non-existent nose at her. Like, ew, flesh bags. As I keep going forward. It gets worse. The flesh bags get worse. As you oh try to, to go past the opium den, you find yourself at a set of crudely carved stone stairs. And they go down, 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 down below the mansion. And... You find yourself in what looks to be dirt, 
gravel, sand, all sorts of just grit. As you hear people crying out, Please, let me go. I, I promise I'll be good this time. And don't take my baby, no. He's only three. Don't put him up there. Two, you can't have her. She's mine. Piss off. And you hear cracks of whips as you look down upon the grids to see tieflings shoulder to shoulder in these large pits being pulled out by what looks to be greedy looking humans all in cultist robes that are How many are there? How many are there? Of, of the, of the uh, oh, No, 200. not of the of I'm the not cultists? worried about the tieflings Six. right now. Six. Oh yeah, I could oh. But they're all armed oh. with whips crossbows and all look to be in burgundy and electric blue robes Junko you haven't, kill them been, all. you haven't been here long but your gods have given you some excellent de excellent intel this is a this is where you need to be to kill puck you know the prime directive excellent excellent so how how close together are all uh, the cultists? The cultists don't look to be close together at all. In total, there are 16 pits. There are over 30 tieflings in each pit. How deep are the pits? All right, we're going to burn this entire place to the ground. Good! Absolutely. How deep are the pits? The pits look to be just barely over seven feet. Eight. So they can't get out on their own. Exactly. Okay, so if there's looks, an alcove nearby. There are several. They are holding torches. Okay. I'm going to pick a darkened alcove and I'll pull the girl in with me. Okay. And I will pull uh, my rope out of the bag. I will hand her my light crossbow with the crossbow bolts. And I will like hold her shoulders and make her look at me and have my eyes glowing at this point and I'll go here is what you will do. You will do exactly as I say. You will not deviate in any way. Are we a hundred percent clear on this? Yes my lady. You are to go to the pit where I kill the fucker on the top. You will put down the rope and tie it off even if you have to tie it to yourself and you will defend yourself and whoever can climb out. I'm going to try to kill the rest before they get to us. Are right. we good? So we're, we're once a doing a, a riot like Akuma and the two the two sisters. I kind of look. Do I understand anything of what she just said? You were you were born like a couple of, sort of you've heard of tiefling riots but only in passing. You've never heard I of will... this Akuma character or the two sisters. I will look at her and like flash her some uh the some finger guns and go, I have no idea what that is. However, that is not the point. I am made for this sort of thing. Our job is to make enough noise to alert the rest of my team. Uh that where are your team? It's gonna be throughout the house. Oh, it's going to be kind of hard considering there's uh, runes down here to suppress noise. They they keep it like that so that it's hard for anyone to actually, you know, uh, oh. make enough noise to alert any any of people who come and do inspections. Oh, don't worry. As long as the doors up there were left open, I can have them slam shut. That makes a lot of noise. Are there? Oh, okay. Yeah, hopefully. Let's hope my team is smart enough to answer the call. Otherwise, this could get really bad really fast. Are you ready? I, uh, yeah. Can I... Both of you to assume I'm smart enough to do anything. <laughs> Hear a loud noise, come close to loud noise. That's what I'm hoping you're smart enough to do. Loud noises. I'm making loud noises. That's all I'm doing is making so much fucking noise. I don't know how far away this thing is from the main rooms, though. Very. So. I would like to roll perception. 
Hold oh, on. I haven't started yet. I haven't started yet. The, uh, as soon as it starts maid, happening. The tiefling girl goes, uh, may I suggest that we start with uh, one? I, I know where a couple of the stronger tieflings are. They were candidates to um, be killed and put into daggers. I'm just going to look at her and go, that's a weird fleshy tradition, but it, whatever. It's not. It's to make cursed items. They do a whole ceremony and kill off a whole pit. Super blank face. Like, I know where I've they got. Are. It's like, if they're close to the front, then yes. I've got to figure out some other weapons we can throw down into the pits. Otherwise, this is going to, again, get really tough really fast. If you want to hear, I can go get your teammates. I can, be, ah. I can move within the, ma the manor really easily. No one's okay, then I'll, slave. I'll hand my, I'll, I'll like put my hands out and make grabby hands. It's like, then you better hurry. I, I don't Here, know what your teeth don't look like. I would, I was just about to tell you, girl, right. if you would pay attention for one moment. Now, there is a giant white dragon man. I need him. Okay. There, the son of whoever owns this manor. He is also a teammate of mine. Okay. There is another tiefling. What color are you? Red, and my face is covered in scars. That is pretty distinguishable. He is red, and his face is just absolutely covered in scars. You can't uh, miss him. Oh, uh, okay, that's gonna be a little hard, but okay. And then the final one is a little goat girl. Okay, uh, I'll-, I'll Bring them back as soon as possible. I'll do my best. And, and I will- see her skirt Wait, off. isn't the one that I saw- there's a lot of red tieflings with a lot of scars on their face. No, that girl. No. Isn't she the one that That's I... not Meredith. Oh. Alright. This one's Zoe. I will say, be very fast. I can't hold my anger for very long. Well, may her be quick in my step. And she could, uh, she runs off. Okay, I will try to find one of the darker alcoves, and I'll lock up so I don't make any extra noise while I wait. There are several... <laughs> Darker alcoves closer to the back. So, you're good to go. Alright. And then I wait. Alright. Back over to Drixel and Trax. Lounding. Chillaxing. Relaxing all cool. Shooting some b-ball down by the pool. Outside the school. Drixel. Outside the school. Down by the pool. There is no schools here. Rexel. Ah. I doubt anybody who lives in this yeah. house is allowed within Hello. 100 feet you, of school zone. You, um, Trax and Drexel, you guys are relax well, quote, quote, relaxing in a room in the drawing room whenever you see a small tiefling girl. This one is blue. Uh, quickly dee, running and uh, closing the door behind her. White Dragonborn Man, and uh, are, you, are you the son of the, 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 the owner of the house? Something like that. All right, guess we're burning the place down. No, no, no. Uh, I, I'm here from uh, my, my lady Junko. She, she saved me from a really, really bad situation. Uh, she needs you down. I, I need to go grab your other teammates. I need to hurry because I don't know how fast I need to run. Um, just go. Just, we got it. Lead just go past the, uh, there's a small hallway past the opium den. Hold your breath. And she runs. I breathe deeply. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guess we're going. All right. We're just Dungeon going, master, I crave Eric's violence. Method. I crave violence. This will be the last thing that we do today. Oh, gosh. No. I know. It's already <laughs> 10 o'clock. I'm sorry. I Next can't time we will have our violence. To commit violence on these schools. You said this was going to be a combat session. I thought we were going to be in combat, but I guess not. We're getting there, We, sp we split the party. Yeah. This is the DM having to pull all you chuckle fucks together. Eric, the method. You see... um. The head maid drops you off in what looks to be a lavish room filled with sweets and 
decadent chocolate and a coffee bar as well. Why the fuck do they have another coffee bar? Um, Method, do not eat anything in this room. And a chestnut table with gold leaf all set on top of a marble slab. That is the Method floor. Was, Method was just reaching for the table as... As Arisena, and she's gonna like Method, turn her head to Arisena. We don't know like, if it's dirty or not. Don't eat anything. Oh, okay. Right after your method says, oh, okay. You hear the haggard breathing of a tiefling as it as they rush past your room until they quickly back uh, backpedal into your room and close the door. Oh, go, hello. girl. Uh, you you look like a tiefling with a lot of facial scars. Uh, this is you know, uh, Lady Junko. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, she stopped eating. Is glass. it violence time? Uh, yeah. You guys ready to start? Erin is already out. Uh, uh, you you don't know where you're going. Don't care. Murdering maids. Uh, no, 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 no! You don't need to be doing that. I hate this place. I'm a maid. Okay, not you. The but, human ones. But no, 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 there are no human ones. It's only tieflings. Piss. Okay. Take us where we got to go. <laughs> Follow me. Uh, uh, come on, Miss Goat Girl. Oh, uh, okay. This is Method. She is a child. Oh, uh, I don't understand, but okay. Follow me. And she runs towards the slave pits. And that's where we're going to end for today. I am... Okay. I would go Starter. later, but it's... Later. Ten. But thank you all so much for watching. And good night. We're going to end everything. Mm.